<laughs> Are you filming? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on guys? Bradley Martin here, looking extra fresh. You see how fresh I look today? Can you see? It's cause I was at the beach and I had like a slight tan. You see the slight tan? Don't look at the scratch marks. That's bam, but like the slight tan, the fresh shirt. Um, you know what I'm saying? Show them the shirt real quick. Damn, what? Do I look like Arnold? No, you don't. Okay, anyways, like don't wanna talk about it. Today, back day. As you guys know, back is probably my weakest body part when it comes to aesthetics, right? So I keep my shirt on. I just be, be, be frank with you, so. If you guys want a shirt, it's on the side. Anyways, first exercise, pen lay rows. Okay, pen lay rows are a dope ass back exercise, not only um, to build thickness, right? But also to build explosive strength. He was confused was tracking me. But also to build explosive strength, like for the powerless, for the strength sports, for stuff like that as well. So to build strength, and size at the same time. I love the pen lay rows. Give it a shot. What I did, and basically what you do is you need to start progressive, right? So to warm up, start with like a barbell. But what you're doing is you're going from a dead stop all the way on the floor, like hopefully you guys are at the 45 pound mark, like so at least a 45 pound plate. So like that, imagine that distance bar from the floor, like you'd pick up a deadlift, okay? And what you're doing is you wanna keep your back as straight as possible, your hips in the same spot. That's, that's the most important thing here. You don't want to extend your body like an accordion to try and get the weight moving. So what, you're, what the idea is, is to keep your body as stationary as possible and just get your arms like, uh, probably about, just maybe a little bit wider than your deadlift pull. So wherever you're gonna deadlift pull, like you know people pull here, a little bit wider. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna think about pulling your elbows like as if you were doing like a, a low cable roll where you're like rolling to your belly button. So pull the bar straight to your belly button or to like your waistline. And you don't wanna, you don't wanna do this, okay? Make sure they see this, you don't wanna do this, right? To get the weight moving. You wanna just be here, pull straight in. So the idea is to keep your body as stiff as possible, like as tight as possible, and just keep all the motion through the elbows, pulling to your belt line or maybe your belly button. Okay, that's the first exercise. You guys didn't see it, I warmed up to about 315. You guys can do that five sets. Don't really worry so much about how many reps. Um, but stay in a certain rep range. So you don't gotta get like a ton, a ton of reps. Uh, stay in the rep range of like anywhere from eight to 12 and make sure you're challenging yourself. So like I always say in all the videos, challenging yourself means like if 12 is your top rep, that means like 12 should be the last damn rep you could do while still maintaining good form, right? So you should be able to do like 15 keeping the same weight or keeping the same form. Like if you can keep the same form, the weight should be a little heavier, okay? Take a one, 130 rest in between that. This is the first exercise, again, it's about building the mass and it's about building the strength at the same time, okay? And explosiveness, honestly. It's a great fucking exercise, so put that shit in your routine if you're not already. Now, and I gotta work on not swearing as much. Why? Because there's a lot of people that I know who are like, don't swear as much. Okay. So I was like, maybe I should listen to them. Like Kevin was one of the people. So why now all of a sudden you're like, you didn't say that, bro? I don't know, because we're on camera. Just kidding. I never said that. You did? No, I didn't. Are you all of a sudden Nadim now? Who's Nadim? Oh, that's right. Who's that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. Uh, anyways, as I said, not swearing, right? That made a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Uh, You're a hypocrite. All right, look. <laughs> she distracted the shit out of me right now. You distracted me. I'm filming this video. No, you're good. You're good. No problem. Uh, she distracted me, though. Cool tights. I like the tights. Uh, anyways. Okay, she threw me way off. I know. Like, she really threw me off. All right, next exercise. Okay, next exercise drop was set. the drop set um, chest supporter row. So what you guys gotta do, what you're focusing on, the same kind of concept, you're not cheating. So that's the thing, like the pen lay rows, it's explosive, but you wanna keep your body as rigid as possible. This like forces you to keep it in your back, okay? So what you're doing is you wanna focus on going from uh, not, like a, what, that's, this is neutral. This is pronated. So he's like, look, he's, he's filming me filming. Look, show him. Look at this shit. That's all good though. Cool, man. You threw me up, but I can, st I can keep going. I can keep going. I got this shit. Okay, so pronated grip, right? Pronate's like this. Pronate is like keep your hands facing down. Okay? So you're going to start from a pronated grip, and as you get up, because remember, your chest supporter. So as you start to bring it up towards your chest, don't, you can kind of arch your back up, but don't throw your chest off the board. Okay? So keep your body as, like, almost like the top of your abdominals, your sternum. Keep it at least your sternum on the bench. So as you start to come up, right, you guys have seen this video, as you start to come up, you'll arch your chest up slightly and pull your hands to a supinated grip. You know, I say supinated because like, it's like holding a can of soup. 
So just so you guys know, pronate is like you're a military guy and you're like on the floor like this, right? Okay? I just wanna like really visual, I wanna show them that. And then supinated is like this, right? If I pronounce that correctly, I don't even know. I just know, and then this is neutral. Like, Kevin's is neutral all the time. He walks around like this. <laughs> I'm like, why are you walking around like that, bro? So anyways, pronated grip, right? And as you go, you can kind of arch your chest up, right? You're gonna feel that contraction in your lower mid back and then start to pull the weight, boom, like this. And kind of like squeeze your back first. Squeeze your back first, but don't forget that you have biceps. So once your back is squeezed like tight and then squeeze your biceps, because every day is arm day. Anyways, do that and I did a drop set. So I went like 70 pounds to 30. And when I went to the 30, I slowed everything down. So slow everything down, just focus on getting a good contraction. 70, whatever your top weight is, you shouldn't be cheating it. So like, again, you guys shouldn't be doing this off the bench. You shouldn't be like popping off the bench. You should be able to move the weight and control, like I said, okay? Um, damn, almost knocked my hat off, shit. It wasn't even a bug. Anyways, um, take a one minute rest on those, a little bit more intense, and do six sets total. I know they're like, what the fuck? Cause that's like, that's like 12 sets. It's a lot of working it's out. It's a lot, bro. it is, but you know what? The, the cool thing is the, it's gonna get you ready for the other exercise. Your back's gonna feel pumped and you wanna take pictures on your left side. On the, the Bradley Martin side. The motherfucking left side. Anyways, next exercise, give it to me. Uh, lap pull down with the rope. Okay, so this is another exercise that like obviously you guys have done lap pull downs forever. Um, I've done it forever. Kevin doesn't really do it much because he just does CrossFit and like does wads and stuff, but we'll give it a rest. You know, I'm just gonna let, he's like, what's a pull down? Like we really do uh, hang, hang cleans and snatches and uh, um, wads. So anyways, uh, <laughs> anyways, like check it out. I don't even do CrossFit. Whatever bro, I don't do CrossFit. Now how is everyone gonna feel when they hear that? Now you said it and they all know you do CrossFit. What are your CrossFit mates gonna feel? Your cult, your, I mean your CrossFit mates. Well, how are they gonna feel when they hear that bro? I don't the next know. thing you're gonna tell me is you're not vegan. You serious, bro? Please. No, 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 no shade to anybody. No hate to anybody. Like, vegans, CrossFit's fine. It's all good stuff. Do what makes you happy at the end of the day. Um, and what makes me happy is making fun of Kevin. It's a simple thing. It's a all right, so next exercise. Okay, no, we're still on this exercise. So, this is a pull down, lap pull down, but use the ropes. Now, it's important. Uh, I want you to actually try to make your grip fail. Okay, so get to at least eight reps every set, four sets. But try to increase the rate, increase the rate, increase the weight each set, four sets, where like the last set, you're like, you're like five, six, seven, like eight, like seven, eight, like your grip starts to fail. Because I want you to challenge your grip strength. That's another key component in getting stronger um, and not having a bitch handshake. So, show them that you, we, oh, you can't. Yeah, well you can, you can do it, reach your hand out here? No. A, bro, I need this, this is no, part of the next tutorial. Exercise. No, 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 I need this. Is this how you be alpha all the time? Come on, bro, help me out. Okay. See, I'm looking at my, you always look at your bicep. The, the professor taught us that. Anyways, um, that reminded me too, if you guys haven't seen the Bros vs. channel. Exactly. I know, chill, I don't get me distracted. They're oh, gonna hate so this video, cute, it's 100 minutes long now. Look, it's just rolling it around. Really cute, <laughs> Yo, this dog, what kind of dog is that? A golden retriever? Uh, what's his name? Yeah. Can you do any tricks? Now, are we doing this for the interwebs? No, I mean, sort of. Is, I is mean, kind of. Is it going online? Probably. Can we not? Yeah, we know. Yeah, we can. Right. Yeah, we'll put that. Yeah. <laughs> no interweb shit. None of that shit. Sorry. No, it's all good. It's not like we could do it another time. No, no, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so check it out. Last exercise. No, there's two more exercises because we skipped the rear delts. So, like I said, challenge yourself in the grip. Make sure the grip. You want to get to that failure, so you're building grip strength as well as your lats and your upper back, okay? The next exercise, uh, it's not as awesome. It's kind of like, eh, there's not a lot of flair to it. But what you're basically going to do is a rear delt fly. Boring. But it's important. When you're doing it, don't go like this. Don't grab the, the weight. Like if you're on the machine, or if you're using, I use the machine. You guys can use dumbbells if you want. Don't grab the weight. Like, relax your hand. And so you're going to want to use a machine on this one. And keep your, outside your palm, press. That's what you're using to move. And another thing, don't let your arm extend. So when you're doing this, make sure everything stays like in a very short range of motion. What I mean by that is like, you don't wanna change, you don't wanna go from here to here, right? Or here, where you're contracting your upper back. Keep everything as stiff as possible, 
okay? Um, that thing, again, is four sets. You can do like 20 reps on that, but just make sure you're getting the contraction, you'll feel the blood flow. Um, last exercise is the high row on the low cable pulley and then the low row on the low cable pulley. Um, I basically did a set of four and two sets was the high row in which I'm bringing the bar like closer to my chin and I'm trying to keep my elbows up. Okay, cut rear delt, upper back. And then the second two sets on the low row cable, I'm pulling like just above my knees and I'm keeping like my elbows down. Okay, so you go from the two from here, two sets, here, two sets. And try to match the reps on both of those sets, on all four sets actually. Um, 15 reps, give yourself like a minute rest. That one a little bit more intense too just to finish out. That's it. Um, what else, should we add anything else? Extra flares, maybe like a Snapchat thing. Go follow my Snapchat. Every time now? I mean, okay, why not? you don't have to. You want to? Okay, show, show, you're the one who do it, show it. Right here. Why is that your sound though? Why is that your why sound? Not? It's funny because you make that sound like all, like you've made that sound. Because I know you well enough that you make that sound not even just for that. No I don't. What does that sound mean to you, bro? What does sound mean to you? To you. Anyways, comment below. I love you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'm out. Follow Snapchat. Should I? Can I do it too? No, it's oh, I didn't there. do it as good. It's already there. It's already oh, there. It's still there. Yeah. So I was like, is it in my face right now? Yeah, it's in your uh, face now. All right. Anyways, I'm out. I love you guys.